Rolando is on the line in Florida. Hi, Rolando. How are you? Uh, pretty good. How about you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So I'm going to tell you all everything, pretty much. Um, okay, I have a house, a too much of a mortgage. I pay $2,000 in my mortgage. Mm. Um, I have a car, $13,000 loan. Credit card is $1,500, $1,600, and $4,000. Um, I'm out of a job because of the coronavirus. What were you doing? Uh, I'm a poker dealer in a casino. Okay. All right. And how much were you Um, making? uh, $50,000 part time. All right. And how long have you been out? To um, a month and a half, probably. Okay. March 16th, at least. Okay. Yeah. Have you been collecting Um, unemployment? I tried. um, For some odd reason, I don't know why, I thought he did something wrong, but um, I got ineligible. So I reapplied again. Okay. Uh, does your wife work outside the home? Uh, yeah, she works in um, a behavior therapist. She makes around twenty five hundred per month. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ouch. And are you have you been yeah, doing have any a, have you been doing any work since you got laid off? I work with my friend. I tried to apply to a few places, but nobody really hired me. I, I really tried. Uh, I, I literally apply for home depot everywhere. Nobody has called me. A few places have called me, but then they said, oh, you know, I'm qualified. I'm like, okay, thank you. I worked for my friend for a little bit, but he was paying really, really bad. And I am, now I'm trying to look for another job that pays a little bit better, at least something to bring in. Um, oh, and my wife is pregnant. She gives birth in three months. And she's taking maternity leave in two months. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty brutal. Oh, the good thing is I have an Airbnb in my house, uh, a tiny house in the back, and that brings in $1,000 per month at the moment. People are renting it? Yes. Right now? Yeah, right now, right now. I got really lucky. I got rented it out for three whole months, so I'm lucky enough for that. Okay. Very good. Oh, well, that's good news. Okay. So you have yeah. a, you have really what you have is a career crisis more than anything, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 yeah, pretty much. I'm, you got to find some work. Yeah. You got all out, go, I, oh, no I, income. I, I, I'm going to school in one month. And I don't know if I should go because I have to pay like three thousand dollars cash. No, you're broke and don't have a job. No, I, well, I have thirteen thousand dollars in my savings account. Okay, but you don't. I mean, you oh, got you got a car debt that's equal to that, just about. Yeah. And you got a two thousand dollar a month house payment, and you got no job. How are you going to survive if yeah. you go to school? I don't know. That's what I need your advice. I don't know what to do. I'll, I have no idea. I've, I've been wanting to go to school, and I finally could go, and all of this happened, and I'm just, I'm devastated, honestly, I'm, and I'm stressed out. Well, like, I would like you, I'd so love I'm, for you to go to school if you want to study something. What are you going to study? Uh, well, I'm going to EMT school, and then after that, I'm going to firefighter school. So that's like I did. I'm doing a five-week course for EMT, and I'm, I was hoping to get a job right away after that. Mm-hmm. And then after that, in August, I was starting firefighter school. Okay. Well, the five-week job makes sense, and if you're an EMT, you can go to firefighter school while you're an EMT, right? Yes, I believe. While yeah. you're on the payroll. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get payroll coming in, and so if you, isn't is that what you want to do with your life? Uh, yeah, I actually do like that. Um, okay. I, I really do like firefighter. I do okay. like. I would like to take life, honestly. Okay. Well, I mean, that's okay. I thought you were going to a four-year college or something. But if you're going to go for a few no, weeks, no, 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 no. if you're going to spend $3,000 of your 18 and go for a few weeks and that gets you a job in the area that you want to be in anyway, then that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Now, when does EMT school start? Uh, in one month, exactly. Okay. So you need to be working your butt off delivering pizzas or working for Amazon delivering stuff, or shelf, putting groceries on the shelves at Publix, or whatever. Those people are all hiring. Every one of them are hiring right now. They're all overwhelmed, and they need help. Uh, the construction site, I don't care. Go work for a month, about 80 hours a week. You got a baby on the way, and you don't want to be burning up this 18000 bucks. It's precious money right now. Uh, you don't be burning it up with living with two thousand dollar house payments because there's no income to mount anything coming in the house, and you can't live on your wife's twenty five hundred. Not with a two thousand dollar house payment and a car payment. That money's gone. Poof, just like that. So you got to do something to get your income up until you get into EMT school, and then head into that, and then you can survive through that one month and get your training or that six weeks and get your training, and then come out. You better have a job lined up on the other side of that. 
And if you do, then this is going to be a good plan by this time next year. And you're going to be in a good place. Hey, thanks for the call, brother.